caddis fly using another one of Alec Jackson's steelhead irons. This happens to be nickel. Uh, tie a steelhead fly here called the cold blue hammer. And uh, this is a an unweighted, uh, I'll call it spay style, loosely, uh, fly that you would swing for winter steelhead or summer steelhead under the right circumstances. Uh, combining, again, combining the, uh, the properties, the colors that steelhead really love to love, which is blue and black. Arctic fox tail. And it's, it's pretty important on this fly to extend that material quite a ways forward because we're going to be using a um, tinsel body and this will help provide a, a nice stable even base and I have gotten in the habit of late of edging my tails with crystal flash I think it's a nice little touch a couple strands is usually quite sufficient. So this particular fly has a... Um, this fly will sink well, as all these do. The, the steelhead irons, they're... Uh, I guess I'd call them a heavy wire hook, but it, they're not oppressively heavy. They still have very nice low barbs, very sharp points. Um, this can be a fairly slim profile fly, and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to put on this uh, this is mini flat braid. Put it on as the body. You notice I have a, a oval silver tinsel there, and then I'm going to palmer. American Saddle Clump. This is a Kingfisher Blue Grizzly Hackle. And you notice the way we're doing, the way we're tying this in, we tie this in by the butt at the front of the fly. It means the butt is the base of the feather. We palmer it to the rear of the fly. And these feathers are really nice because they are tapered. So you get a little bit of that tapering effect you see on the fly. Pass my tinsel over and spiral. Since the hackle is angled to the back and the tinsel is angled to the front, you don't have the pro you don't have any problems really with winding hackles under. So now I'm going to put on my Coq de Lyon hackle. This is going to be one of those flies that we will talk about. It's going to, it's, it's, it has a lot of materials, but these are materials that will sink really nicely. And yet, the fly, without being bulky, will have a very definite signature in the water. Now, I'm going to put Use some angel hair, some, this is light blue angel hair, put on my angel hair, and again this is, this is just a tiny bit of material here. It does light up though, that's Oh boy it lights up, lights up really nicely. Trim that. And now I'm going to throw in some ostrich hurl. Nice healthy little pinch of ostrich hurl. 
on the back. Now forgive me, but I'm going to add one more tiny little bit of Coq de Leon. There's a collar in front, and this is not essential, but this is something I like to do. Just finish the dressing, the appearance of this fly. Almost there, sports fans. So we have a fly here that's going to have a lot of wiggle in the water. Plenty of authority in its visibility. Yet it's, it's really light and easy to cast. And it will sink just the right amount. And this will swim. Think about those ostrich pearls waving in the water. I'm going to put a nice head of clear cure goo on instead of an epoxy head. Three to seven seconds, what it takes. That's probably eight seconds there. There you have it, cold blue hammer winter steelhead fly.